Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we can write this as from when we have a raised to power n minus n, which is a raised to power n over a raised to power n. This here, this becomes 5 raised to power x over 5 squared equals to 60 on this side. That is, yeah, this is the same thing as 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared, 5 times 5, which is 25, equals to, here yeah, becomes 60 over 1. Then next step, we cross multiply. 5 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 5 raised to the power x, and equals to, here yeah, we have 60 times 25. That is, from here, we take the log on both sides. Here we have log. 5 raised to the power x equals to log 60 times 25 here. That is, here we apply the power of log m. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 5 equals to log 60 times 25 then next step we divide both side by log 5 as this divide this side by log 5 also divide this side by log 5 that is yeah log 5 cancel each other we have x equals to log 60 times 25 over log 5. Then here, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, it's same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here yeah, we have x equals to log 60 plus log 25 over log 5 then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus log 25 over log 5 then here 25 same thing as 5 times 5 which is 5 squared then what we have becomes x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus log 5 squared over log 5. That is here. We apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes in and what we have becomes x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus 2 log 5 over log 5. Then here, log 5 cancelled each other. This becomes x equals to log 60 over log 5 plus 2. That is also 60 here can be expressed as 5 times 12. This here we have x equals to log 5 times 12 over log 5 plus 2. And this also follows the law of logarithm. That is, we have x equals to log 5 plus log 12 over log 5 plus 2. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 12 over log 5 plus 2. Also here, yeah, log 5 cancelled each other. We have one left here. That is x equals to 1 plus 2 give us 3 then plus log 12 over log 5. 
then next step here also 12 can be expressed as 4 times 3 which implies x equals to 3 plus log 4 times 3 over log 5 then this also follows the law of log and we have x equals to 3 plus log 4 plus log 3 over log 5 then we separate this into two fractions as well and we have x equals to 3 plus log 4 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 then also 4 can be written as 2 times 2 which is 2 squared then what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 square over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then we apply the power law of log here. Yeah. 2 comes here. Then we have x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 then here we apply change of this when we have log a over log b is same thing as log a to base b as this here we have x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 that is the value of x here we have 3 plus log 2 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. What we have becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 and minus 2 is it equals to 60 on this side. Then here we have 3 minus 2, that's 1. We have 5 raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. This is equals to 60 on this side. And we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power n plus n, this same thing as a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. Then here this becomes. 5 raised to the power 1 times 5 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to the power log 3 base 5. This is equals to 60 on this side. And here 5 raised to the power 1, that's 5, and times here we reverse this 2 up from power log. We have 5 raised to the power log 2 square, which is 4 base 5, times also 5 raised to the power log. 3 base 5 this is equal to 60 on this side. This, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have a raised to power log b to base a, this same thing as b a. That is, here we have 5 times 4 and times 3. This is equal to 60 on this side. And 5 times 4, 20. 20 times 3, that's 60. Here, which is equal to 60 on this side. That this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Satisfy this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description below. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.